To give 5 or 3 pounds, text 5 or 3 to 70404. We're now joined in the studio with Chris. Let's have a round of applause, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Chris. How are you? Also, I'm doing all right, yeah. I'm a bit sunburned. Yeah, are you? He's back yeah, from Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back from Spain. Back from Spain. So sit with us yeah. on, our, on our bed. Yeah, yeah. It's not very comfy, though, is it? Yeah, it doesn't compare so, yeah. to lounging in the sun right Can't now. Can't have everything, can you? Uh, yeah. First of all, thank you for sharing your story, because I think it was really amazing to see and inspiring for a lot of people. Um, Oh yeah, there's your mic. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Yeah, just to, yeah, yeah fine um, away. So how did you, what was it like being told that you had a, not just cancer, but a rare form of cancer? How was that for you? How did you feel? I think if I probably had to sum it up into one word, I'd say it was unexpected. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't quite aware that you could actually get a bone cancer in your leg yeah. at such a young age as well. How old were you when you were diagnosed? Um, I was 19. So, yeah, I was quite young. Yeah. But, but I still got a baby face, so I haven't had that. Yeah, you're pretty young. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit, because you said you didn't know you could get, like, cancer in the bones. So what type of cancer did you have? What was it called? It was called osteosarcoma, so it's a rare form of bone cancer. Yeah. It affects usually uh, young adolescents. Oh, really? Teenagers, yeah. So it's, it's quite a specific age range. Um, but I think you can also get it when you're a bit older as well. So how did you, uh, what were the signs that you, you picked up on that you thought something's wrong here? Um, there were several signs looking back in hindsight, but nothing that really stood out uh, at the time. I usually, I used to play a lot of golf, so I had quite a lot of niggles and stuff like that mm. in my legs. And um, it was only when I, I stepped off a curb and broke my leg that we realised it was something What's up. that going on? Yeah, um, you don't break your femur, the strongest bone in your body, that easily. Mm -hmm. and, um, obviously, things were investigated further, and uh, that was when I was told the bad news. Yeah, but you're, you're all clear now? I'm doing all right now, yeah. yeah. It's still a little bit uncertain at the moment, but we're doing all right. Okay, but and you can, what's most important, it hasn't stopped you from pursuing your passion either? No, certainly not, certainly not, no. Good, well, thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. And I uh, hope everyone, this raises awareness for rare types of cancer.